at our core, human beings are, um, uh, uh, you know, goal directed, but there are different kinds of goals, right? So let's make one distinction between, you know, goals that are primarily or entirely personal and, you know, when we achieve them, we're better off. And then there are goals where when we achieve them, someone else is better off. So you can call these altruistic goals or, or pro-social goals. But because I like alliteration, obviously, let's call them personal versus pro-social goals. Um, you're, you're absolutely right, I think, Pat, when you say, like, you know, if, if life were a multiple choice and you could only choose to fulfill your personal goals or your pro-social goals, which would make you happier, right? And it's a really good question because it's like, well, maybe the obvious choice is personal goals because that's what personal goals are. They advance your own interests. But then again, a little voice in you says, I don't know, maybe those pro-social goals, like maybe that, because when you think about your own life probably, and you think about the times where you, you were just the happiest, you know, it was very often because you were doing something in service of someone else. Mm. Um, and, and I think this language that many people use um, spontaneously to describe work when it is filled, imbued with pro-social purpose is they will say, I have a calling, right? And ha uh, having a calling is originally in a, a religious um, expression. I don't think people mean that um, when they say it, you know, spontaneously describe their work, but a calling is to be called to serve you know, called to serve something larger than yourself and called to serve people. And the data suggests that people in general uh, tend to be happier when pursuing pro-social goals than personal goals. And then again, to bring it um, back to, you know, happiness research in general, you know, one of the hallmarks of, um, you know, severe unhappiness, depression, anxiety, is that your field of view is completely taken up with yourself. I mean, the catch 22 or the paradox of, I think, suffering um, from some of these extremes of unhappiness or insecurity and anxiety is that the only thing you can think of is yourself. Um, and as many philosophers have pointed out, um, that will never get you um, to happiness.